Hello folks, the Celtic Nerd here being another nerdy video and we are back with some more Assassin's Creed Syndicate. We are starting uh, the Charles Darwin uh, storyline. Now we are hoping that at some point along us doing the Charles Darwin stories that it will unlock the final two stories that are tied to Charles Dickens. So let us begin. Now, for the for the majority of this video, folks, I will be keeping my mic muted as it is getting late. Uh, my my mother will be getting home with my brother soon enough, and. You know, the house is going to get noisy. So for a good bit portion of these videos, they are going to be silent. And then we are... So yeah, they're going to be mostly silent. What's it called again? Um, Salix Alba. I didn't know you had a twin sister, Mr. Fry. Evie Fry, sir. It's a pleasure. Usually I would reciprocate the sentiment, Miss Fry, but today I'm afraid nothing will bring me pleasure. What's troubling you, sir? I am used to people challenging my ideas. In fact, I live for it, the cut and thrust of spirited debate. Lately, however, attacks against my reputation have taken a darker turn. Threats of violence against my person and against my colleagues. I do not wish anyone to be hurt because of my research. You helped me with Staric Syrup. I am in your debt. We help each other, sir. My brother and I will make sure that you can continue your work in peace. What do you know of bones? Only a few of their names learned from books. Hmm. Perhaps it would be simpler if I just explained the situation. A few days ago, a German colleague, Dr. Schwartz, sent me a telegram. He informed me he was on his way to London to deliver a very important fossil, you see. In fact, he should arrive at Charing Cross any moment now. Would you ensure no harm comes to him? I'll ensure Dr. Schwartz's safety and make sure you get that fossil. Splendid. But please do be careful.
Never find me. Mr. Darwin has sent me to ensure you reach him safely, with your cargo intact. Just act naturally. Right. So, how is your father? By which I mean my dear brother Frank, with whom I grew up, of course. Oh, splendid! Wonderful to hear! I'll do my best not to call attention to how remiss he was in forgetting to warn me about the delicate situation which brings me here today. Finding a needle in a haystack, this is. Dr. Schwartz? Never got on the train. Darwin's fate is seen. Goodbye, assassin. I did so enjoy meeting you. to kill you. I should deliver this to Mr. Darwin. Last, my heart hasn't stopped pounding. You have it? Wonderful. But where is Dr. Schwartz? I'm afraid he was intercepted, sir, in Germany. However, I have recovered the fossil. Dear Lord, I should tell you, I was recently approached by men who sought to purchase all my research on the condition I work only for them. Obviously, I refused. Scientific knowledge cannot...
Ah, my young friend. How good it is to see you. Fortunate, really. It would appear a highly toxic plant, which has the extraordinary effect of making people quite delirious, has been found in this very park. Yet, as far as modern science is aware, no such plant exists. I fear the good people of London might be in danger. Will you investigate? Not your average flower. Mr. Doran was right about these plants. Oh, I don't feel well. That's one less to worry about. These footprints must belong to a rogue gardener. Mr. Darwin will want to inspect these flowers. <laughs> Noxious fumes are not being released from the flowers, but from the pots. There must be something in there. An hallucinogenic concoction of some kind. Not unlike the soothing syrup, I should think. We must dispose of it, and quickly. I believe, my young friend, that I might know just the place. Who would want to poison the population of London? Who could devise such a nefarious plan? Obviously, it can't be Dr. Elliot's. So who can it be? An organization my brother and I have been fighting all our lives. <laughs> I'm 
I'm afraid, my young friend, that some of your enemies want their toxins to turn to them. Can I suggest you position our carriage directly in front of theirs? I believe the fumes will impair their ability to drive. We must hurry and destroy our cargo. We're almost there. up to no end. The people of London are fort- Well, I'd better run now. You will take good care of yourself, won't you? Young friend, today's papers carry a rebuttal of Mr. Owen's slanderous and ignorant remarks about my work. However, I'm feeling quite like a fossil today. Would you be a dear and get me a copy of the newspaper?
saved my life. Yes. Now here's a question for you. Why would you attack a newsboy? A man paid me and my mates to force newsboys to display this leaflet. Here, take the bloody thing and leave me alone. This spells trouble for Mr. Darwin. are not apes. If the circumstances were not so grave, I'd compliment the artist on the wonderful caricature. They are fools if they believe they can stop progress by printing leaflets and killing newsboys. We must find out who is behind this propaganda before more innocents are harmed. I should very much like it if you could find and remove these awful things. Perhaps you can catch one of the bill posters red-handed.
over there. <laughs> And why are they so violent against Mr. Darwin's theories? Darwin refused to cooperate with us. We wanted to recruit him, but he rebuffed all our offers. We've tried to intimidate him, blackmail him, but he's a stubborn old git. I'm gonna take your operation apart. Unspeakable has happened. A policeman arrested Mr. Darwin and carried him away as if he were nothing but a common criminal. That policeman, he is corrupt to the bones, I'm sure of it. But he's so fearful. Poor Mr. Darwin has been through so much recently. Those people are trying to discredit a lifetime of work. It's disgraceful. And I fear Mr. Darwin is no longer the fit young man who once traveled the world. Here we are. The obsequies are taking place here. Go on. I will be waiting here. for such brutality what do you want from me just need you to answer some questions oh you're a brash one aren't you it's been said I need a me! 
immediate assistance! Thank <laughs> you. 
I will wait here. such brutality what do you want from me just need you to answer some questions oh you're a brash one aren't you unto the law it's been said whether we live therefore or die we are the lords i am the resurrection and the life he that believeth in me though he were dead yet shall he live and whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die This is the culprit. I was just carrying out my orders. Arresting an old man and dragging him off to Lord knows where is fine work indeed for a policeman. Now, sir, tell us where you have taken Mr. Darwin. A man paid me to bring him to his secret base. How terrible. We will need transportation. find Mr. Darwin, shall we? I don't think that's a... Shall we?
He's very weak. We shouldn't move Mr. Darwin until I have seen to his wounds. Rest up, Mr. Darwin. My sister and I will be along shortly. Well, look who's here. We're very worried about you, sir. We're looking spry for a fossil, sir. A man's friends are the best measure of his worth. I'm proud to count you among mine. The dangers pass us only to leave, sir. What Mr. Darwin needs now is rest. To that end, he's joining his family on the Isle of Wight. Rest, indeed. I shall start work on my next book. I must insist that you recuperate quietly, sir. The acquisition of knowledge is in itself sufficiently recuperative. Go, tell her. This is one fight I aim to avoid, sir. Thank you for everything, my friends. Ideas, like people, can only thrive when they are free. Okay, folks, it seems that I, uh, I was correct. Uh, the chart, like, there's a joint DLC, the Darwin and Dickens Conspiracy. So, which is interesting, because that means, I think those two... Like are gonna be it's gonna be three missions. One which is gonna which is initially uh, Charles Darwin, 
and then the other two are going to be tied to Charles Dickens. Um, with that being the case, that they're technically a new joint story, we're actually going to put them into their own separate playlist, and we're going to do them separately. So we're actually going to move on to uh, Karl Marx, and then we will do Queen Victoria, then the Charles and the the, uh, the Charles and sorry the Darwin and Dickens conspiracy. Then we will move into World War One. I'm getting rather excited, folks, because, like, again, we are nearing the start of, uh, what's it called? The Jack the Ripper DLC. Now, this is my, in terms of my, of this YouTube channel, this is my second playthrough doing this, uh, game at, at this slower, more methodical pace. However, um, like, so, like, the thing is, I have not once done the Jack the Ripper DLC. That is going to be exciting, folks. Because it was around this time that I wanted to really accelerate things to get to Assassin's Creed Valhalla. So, again, I'm, I'm just getting really excited now. We're actually at the end of, like... Like, we're at, oh, like, there's just a lot of stuff uh, I'm going to be covering during my uh, Assassin's Creed um, Syndicate wrap up. There's gonna, there's a few things I, I want I want to discuss. Anyway, I'm the Celtic Nerd signing out. One name, one sky.